Turning into like Jesus Christ Superstar now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we're annoying this son. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, Leland. Sorry about that. I really apologize. Yeah, yeah. follow us on the official Twitter account. We'll be quiet now because we have an actual stupid baby. Whatever. Hey, rude. He's an intelligent baby. No, he's stupid, just like his dad. Uh, but this is a informative video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do tell. Uh, it's called. Is it going to teach us how to put on Rithix underwear? Mankar, I don't know, say this. Makar Sankranti celebrations. A, it's, I think, a festival? Uh, yeah, and it's yeah, on the, the Sankr 15th. Sankranti festival of January. January. Uh, so, Makari Sankranti is a festival day in the Hindu calendar dedicated to the sun god Surya. It is observed each year in January. It's celebrated all across India in different ways. Cool. You know, we love learning about stuff. We do it's like to learn. Stuff and things. That's how you get less stupider. It's stupid eye. Hmm. Makes sense. Here we go. Makar Shankaranti is one of the major festivals celebrated across the nation with great form. Each state has its own way of celebrating That's the festival, beautiful. which commences the auspicious the period known as Uttarayana period. The festival of Makar Shangarangi inspires one to have peace, love, harmony and stay with unity. Let us now see how some of the major states celebrate this festival. Delhi and Haryana have their own unique way of celebrating Makar Shangarangi. A ritual called Siddha is observed in which the brother brings his sister and brother-in-law warm clothing and gifts to show his care for them. In Punjab, the festival is called Magi. People Punjab. perform Bangada dance. Punjab. Sweet Punjab. delicacy, kheer, and many other foods are prepared and distributed among friends oh, and yeah. families. Slivered almonds. The people of Gujarat celebrate this day Gujarat. with the Uttarayan festival. This festival is celebrated with avid kite traveling. flyers flying wonderful and unique kites. That's cool. The international kite flying is also taken place where kite flying enthusiasts from so all over the world come to participate. It celebrates in a different way, I guess. Yeah. In Tamil Nadu, the harvest season is celebrated as Pongal for four days. People worship the sun god and exchange food delicacies and sugar cane among neighbors and relatives. Makar Shankaranti is celebrated as Kichari in Uttar Pradesh. People gather at Varnasi to worship and take a holy bath. They serve sweets such as till ladus and good ladus. Kite flying is also an important part of the celebration. God bless you. The three-day festival of Makar Shankaranti is celebrated in Maharashtra with great joy. People make halwas, puran poli and other delicacies and exchange it with the neighbors and relatives. People exchange still good laddus as a token of goodwill and greet each other with the words Til gul gaya, ani god god bola meaning accept this till gul and utter sweet words. The underlying thought in the exchange of Tilgul is to forget the past ill feelings and hostilities and resolve to speak sweetly and remain friends. Although the festival is celebrated in various unique and interesting ways, the festivities of Makar Shankaranti ties up the state of India and highlights the unity in diversity of India. That was quick. That was really quick. I'd like to actually find a quick video of it actually being celebrated. Yeah, uh, and I, I'm sure they only covered a pinch of uh, the regions and the way that they so, celebrate it. So it's for a, the sun god, right? They say? Yes. Um, sun god, and it seems it's also and universal. And Durga Puja is the sea god, right? 
Or am I wrong in that? No, Durga, Durga Pooja is the mother god. Mother god. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Uh, I thought it was C because they pushed it into right. the ocean. No. Okay. No, it's the mother god. Um, sorry, I want to look it up real quick. Um, because that was like a slideshow video, mm -hmm. even though it gave good information. Uh, it's yeah, just... particularly, the I guess a, a unifying theme throughout is the idea of relational wholeness and kindness, especially within familial relations, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters and family and f that nature. Oh, my little son is not happy. He is unhappy right now. Huh, I can't really find anything. But it was interesting that, like, certain states, like, I, we, we know different states in India celebrate certain things different ways, but yeah. he's, like, celebrate in very different ways. Like, one's, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly a bunch of kites, and then right. the other's, like, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, I'm assuming all of them do the sweets. I would assume, and the foods. But, like, one of them, one of the regions is four days worth of celebrating. And I think the others are... Like one. I think there's more days of celebrating in India than there is not celebrating in India. I would, I bet you're right. Because festivals usually last for days. Mm -hmm. And and they have a ton. Yes. <laughs> I was like, national ones, somebody has sent me a ones. chart that sends me, I would bet there's more days out of the year that there's celebrating going on. I guarantee if you just did a Google search that said Indian holidays and festivals, uh, pretty much the majority of dates are full with something. How? How many Indian festivals are there? In festivals, more than 100 festivals in India, but if you come to see, there's only 20 to 30 festivals in India which are celebrated widely across the country. So 20 to 30 festivals widely, which... But that also doesn't mean it's celebrated That means there's one, one day, every other week. But then that's right. also, you, you're not including, like, holidays as well. Right, if you've got... I don't if, know if a festival is a holiday. And if you've got, say you've got 30 of them nationally, you know, the whole country, you're talking about a festival every 10 days, pretty much. That's a lot of celebrating. <laughs> 11 I feel days. Like, I feel like 12 days. The, the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas is close. <laughs> Halloween, Thanksgiving, ah, it's too much. Christmas, New Year's. That's why in January everybody's like, yeah, I can't take it anymore. Well, that's also because Americans celebrate with alcohol. <laughs> True. <laughs> we tend to, anything we do, it's like, ah, let's drink. True. Fourth of July, get bombed. <laughs> Memorial Day weekend, drink beer. Yep, that's what we do. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving eggnog with rum. It's because a lot of America is <laughs> Irish descent. <laughs> and Ronnie sent me something about New Year's Eve. It was a two picture thing. And it was just the, the bottom picture, all these people like doing this and freaking out, obviously celebrating. It says once a year, the earth makes its travels around the sun. Humans. <laughs> Well done, Earth! <laughs>